On this episode of Models Behaving Badly, you will see Mia Lee fucking up her hands before awards season. Hey guys, I am back and keeping with body positivity January, we're going to talk about our actual meat sacks, our skin. Across beauty and media industries, having flawless skin is an aesthetic standard. Although in real life, we all have freckles, scars, bruises, and blemishes, and that's just part of the human condition, even though it totally conflicts with this beauty standard. Remember that for every model that you see in a magazine, an actor that you see on the red carpet, there is probably a makeup artist on set making sure they look perfect and that their skin looks flawless. My biggest challenge as a model and as a performer is constantly looking like I rolled out of a fight club. The quality of your skin definitely plays a big role in your quality as a performer. There are some companies that will in fact have you write down on a checklist where the bruises on your body are. Other companies will cancel a shoot because the model is too marked up and bruised. It can be for aesthetic purposes or just at the director's discretion. In adult film, it's not just our face and limbs that are exposed, but our whole body is under scrutiny. I do a lot of competitive lesbian wrestling porn and BDSM shoots. We are gonna get bruises from wrestling, from impact play, and that's a part of the process. This can create a conflict with the more vanilla scenes that I shoot outside of those niches where it's not great to roll up being scuffed up with your nails all messed up from whatever activity you've been partaking in. Outside of work, I have this huge passion, probably my favorite, that definitely makes me a bad model. <laughs> About three to four times a week, I rock climb. It's just my passion, but it definitely leaves me marked up. The thing about marks and bruises and scars and all these things, these are imperfections that are totally natural and totally normal to have. These are just indicators that you're living life. Although I know my agent and some companies would be much happier with me as a model if I abstained from such shoots that would leave me with marks and if I gave up my favorite hobby, I have to draw the line as to how much of my life and my body am I going to devote to the things that I love and how much of my body I'm going to devote for at work. Being an adult film performer kind of makes it hard to step away from what it means to be a professional because so much of that is locked into our bodies and this meat sack is not something you can escape. Finding this balance is an ongoing process. I'm filming this now about a week before the AVNs. The porn Emmys, I'm gonna be on the red carpet, there are gonna be tons of pictures taken, all sorts of media there. And last year I, I took an entire month off from my favorite thing and I was pretty miserable, but this year I am devoting more time to living life for myself when there are scenes that demand my body be perfect and minimally be marked, I will take that time. It's just a matter of being the judge of when I need to take care of my body in certain ways. So for all of you, I hope you are able to find balance because at the end of the day, this, all of it, skin, guts, and glory, it's all yours. Thanks guys for watching this video. Be sure to leave a question, comment, or concern down below. Click subscribe and I'll see you next week. Take care. You know, I feel like when I go on to set a little more self-conscious of my body, I tend to put out a better performance because I tell myself, I'm like, okay, you're feeling these things, but now it's time to go like be a porn star.